Alright, so today we're diving into something that can save you a ton of time. These are going to be my top five essential shortcuts for faster modeling in SketchUp. So whether you're new to SketchUp or a really seasoned user, these shortcuts are going to streamline your workflow and help you model like a pro. So let's get started. So the first shortcut is actually three shortcuts in one. I know that's a bit of a cheat, but really getting comfortable with knowing how to select, draw lines, and push-pull quickly is going to be so important. These are your bread and butter shortcuts in SketchUp. So for example, if I want to draw a line, it's just L and draw my lines. I can push-pull, P, P, and if I want to go back to just selecting spacebar. Now it's something that after a while becomes so automatic that you'll forget you're doing it. For example, after I drew some lines, I immediately pressed the spacebar and didn't even realize I was doing it in order to go back to that select tool. So getting comfortable with spacebar for select, L for line, and P for push pull is going to save you so much time. Now, the other one that I really like to, to know, and especially for interiors, depending on the type of projects you're working on, is learning how to use the move tool, but with the array option. So for example, here I've selected this chair and I want to make an array of say 10 chairs in a row. Now to do this, I need to first use the control key to toggle that copy um, option. In Mac, it's going to be the option key. So if I do control, suddenly my move icon has a little plus sign. So now I can say, okay, click and we're going to move it over, say like that fine. And we're still active in the move tool. So what I can do is say times 10. Enter. Lo and behold, we have created an array or kind of a grouping of those copies over and over again. We haven't had to do it repeatedly. We've just had to do our shortcuts for adding in these multiples. So again, that's using your move tool toggling on the copy version, so that's either the control key or the um, option key in a Mac, and then once you've moved it, doing X times the number of copies you want to make. And that's how you can quickly create a lot of duplicates all in a row using that move tool. So the next shortcut I want to go through is Zoom Extends. Now there is a little button for this one as well, but again, I think shortcut keys are going to be what help you really get to grips with things. Now, especially if you're working in interiors, you might get stuck inside walls or you might get kind of lost in your model. And depending on where you are, it can be that SketchUp is making you use your scroll wheel over and over and over again because it just makes it really difficult to, to get out. Some Sometimes the quickest way to do it is just go zoom extents and then re-navigate to where you're going. So the shortcut for zoom extents is shift plus Z. So shift Z. And let us, lo and behold, we are looking at the whole model again. And we can kind of go back into wherever we needed to go to see what we're working on. So that's shift and Z for zoom extents. So the other shortcut I wanted to go through is making sure you get comfortable with the shortcut for the pan tool. So if you're using a scroll wheel mouse, which I highly recommend, you automatically can have a button for the orbit tool, as well as zooming in and out with the up and down of your scroll wheel. Now, one thing that can be really handy is to also activate the pan tool quickly. Now you can hold down your scroll wheel and right click and activate this and select pan, but simply using the H key is going to make your life a lot easier. So if I do spacebar and let's do H, suddenly we can pan and navigate a lot easier than if we were trying to find the button, trying to find the right click option and so on. So the last shortcut I want to go through is actually viewer's choice. Now I would really recommend setting up your own custom shortcuts because this is going to be how you can work as fast as you want using the tools you use most. So to set up your own shortcut keys, all you need to do is go to Window and Preferences. And here, make sure you navigate to the Shortcuts option. And lo and behold, you can look through all the different functions that you might be using and set up your shortcut keys for it. So for example, I have a shortcut set up for camera standard 
top, so control plus the space bar, and this gives you that standard top view without having to go to the camera menu. So if you look, that's camera menu, standard views, and top. So that would be actually, you know, three different things I need to go and access, whereas control plus the space bar gives it to me automatically. I also really enjoy doing the paste in place as a shortcut, so edit, paste in place, and basically it's just control alt v. So instead of control v for regular paste, it's control alt v. So to set up your own shortcut keys, just go to whatever function you're wanting to actually use. So for example, hide. Type in the shortcut that you want to use for this, add it, and it suddenly becomes a shortcut you can use over and over again to use that function. Now, definitely make a note of the shortcut you've done. If you don't like the shortcut that you've chosen for this custom shortcut, you can always just delete it with that little minus button here. But using your own customized shortcut as needed to use these, do these functions that you're using over and over again can really save you a lot of time in the long run. So those are my five essential shortcuts for faster modeling in SketchUp. I hope these tips have helped you speed up your workflow and make your projects more efficient. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you have any favorite SketchUp shortcuts, please let me know in the comments below. I'm all for learning something that helps me work a little bit more efficiently.